Cambodia, Kingdom of Wonder, with an abundance of diverse development potential. As a result of the win-win strategy, Cambodia has political stability which has helped facilitate the growth of EDC. As the biggest player in the power sector, we have the obligation and duty to make sure that we can A, provide sufficient power supply to our nation when it needs to power growth and development, inequality to address poverty. We have to make sure that our transmission line is not only everywhere that we need it to be, but also this system is becoming more and more reliable. The energy sector, one of the four sides in physical infrastructure, has mainly mentioned on capacity and security of electricity supply and expand supply coverage to enhance economic competitiveness, support long-term economic growth, strengthen capacity to ensure energy security, and improve the living conditions of the people. In terms of a contribution to the economy, it's huge. We are a big player in terms of job creation for the power sector. We are making uh, perhaps the best tax revenue contribution in terms of power sector contribution to the common economy. With a 10-year annual GDP growth of over 7%, Cambodia is currently one of Asia's best economic performers. The potential is there. Uh, government is addressing some of the constraints in a forceful way. So I think the outlook for Cambodia, particularly uh, in the uh, sub-region of the greater Mekong sub-region and beyond, is actually quite good. Delivering power to the people of Cambodia remains EDC's major priority, whether it's in the major cities or the most isolated rural communities. So, from 2007 onwards, new transmission lines have been constructed and put into service across Cambodia, giving shape to the national grid. Examples include a 115 kilovolt transmission line from the Thai border to the western provinces of Bantiaming Chai, Batambang, and Siem Reap, built in 2007. A transmission line from Vietnam to Phnom Penh via Takao entered service in 2009. In 2011, a further transmission line linked Takao with Kampot. In 2012, a western transmission line connected Phnom Penh to Kampong Cheneng, Po Sat, Usam, and Batambang. And in 2013, Kampot and Sianuil were linked, as were Phnom Penh and Kampong Cham. Still, more transmission lines continue to be planned and constructed across the country. As of now, there are around 1,300 kilometers of transmission line and 22 grid substations scattered across Cambodia. Within that, EDC will continue to bring the cost of electricity down, particularly for people living in rural areas. We have to make sure that we can also offer a helping hand. If they use less than 10 kilowatt hours per month, which represent the poorest of the poor, you will see they pay only 480 reals per kilowatt hour. So from 3,000 reals per kilowatt hour to 480 reals per kilowatt hour, that is a huge change in itself. Those of you who use more than 10 kilowatt hours a month will see their power starting uh, from just around 800 reals per kilowatt hour. So in that sense, it's a win-win. Uh, improving the power distribution and supply will help enterprises compete more uh, in the sub-regional and international markets, particularly in areas where they need electricity. So this is light manufacturing, this is commercialization of agricultural outputs, even for tourism. So all areas of growth potential in Cambodia will require better access to energy and cheaper energy. Vision of EDC, um, that I have is an organization that will continue to satisfy the customers of all stripes. And I'm certainly confident and optimistic that in the next three or four years to five years, the situation of the power sector in Kamui will be a lot brighter. And because we have not been complacent about it, because we are stepping up our effort uh, in a way that, uh, that they will certainly will, will make sure that will come. As Cambodia continues to grow and change, Electricité du Cambodge will remain at the forefront of its commercial field, while staying committed to the broader, nation-building goals that are central to its mission. The road ahead is long, but with time and perseverance, anything can be achieved. 
here in the Kingdom of Wonder.